everyone, it's Aliyah Orozco reporting with the Mayweather Channel and today I am out here in beautiful Los Angeles joined with the one and the only John Ryder. John, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. So your fight is quickly approaching January 27th. How do you feel going into it? I feel, I feel so much better now having come face to face with Hyman Gear. Um, it feels like go time now. It feels like the, the, the fight is well and truly on. Um, obviously, not having come face to face yet is, is strange, but now we've come to face to face to face, and um, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to this fight, and uh, I've really got a bit between my teeth now. Most definitely. Why did you choose Mungia as your next opponent? I wanted to continue operating at a level I've been operating at, and I think Mungia was that fight. I didn't want to be dropping down to six and eight round level fights. I wanted to be continue fighting big names and. So I'm not here for a long time now, I'm here for a good time in boxing and the biggest and best fights is what it needs to be. Most definitely. What was one thing you learned from the Canelo fight that you'll be incorporating into this fight? Because I, I bet you probably learned so much from that fight. I think uh, firstly pa patience is key in boxing, you need to be patient. Um, but I learned a lot about myself in that fight, I wish I had that fight 10 years ago. Um, I think it made me a, a better complete fighter throughout my career. And um, I'm just glad that I've shared the room with him now and now I'll take a lot from it. What do you want to show fight fans on January 27th? Show them what I've still got left. Show them I've still got a lot of desire, a lot of things to achieve in this sport. And uh, I want another crack at a world title. Who would you say is the best in your division currently? Uh, currently it's Canelo. He's got, he's got all the straps. Um, Benavidez is close second. Um, but it's, it's, it's a packed, it's a packed yeah, it's division. A so um, there is a lot of talented fighters. And who would you say is the best on the pound for pound list in your opinion right now in boxing? Uh, boxing, I think you're looking at uh, a Canelo and a Nui. Um Maybe you should put Betabio up there. Um, Bivol, uh, yeah. it's, it's wide. Do you have any hidden talents or anything about you that nobody knows? No, you're just a boxer? I can't sing, I can't dance. Um, <laughs> yeah, not, not much at all really. Do you like singing though? Do you like doing stuff like that? No. What about any other sports? Like, do you like to do certain hobbies? Like, when you're not boxing, where is what is John doing? I like a bit of football, like soccer, um, golf. I try my hand at that a bit, but I'm not very good. But um, <laughs> I'm continually trying. Um, I'm very much a family man. Time with the kids and my partner, so that's that's the most important thing to me. And my last question for you: Besides boxing, what fun things do you have planned this year? Like traveling, anything? Lots of travel, hopefully. Get yeah. um, a few holidays in with the family. Let the kids know they're a priority to me as well as boxing and um, yeah, show them the love. I love your love for your family. Thank you so much for your time and I'm wishing you the best of luck. Bye everybody.